wrought with insecurities, which is why if you talk to any, <laughs> almost every artist I talk to, and I talk to artists like I talked to other horse trainers. I wanted to know, I wanted to hear, I wanted you to talk to me so that I could absorb. If you go in my studio, I have art from, like I'll buy a piece from this artist because I just want that energy around me all the time. But one of the interesting things that comes up when you talk to an artist long enough is their insecurity about exposing themselves and their expression. Perfectionism, as Brene Brown says, is the 10,000 pound shield. That's the one thing that so many people carry around with them that prohibits them from expressing themselves fully. Clearly, and I don't know Laura Gould, I've never seen her work until I came into this gallery today, clearly she is uninhibited. So I spent my time while you guys were getting organized and arriving and checking in, making sure I stopped and looked at every single piece of art this woman has done just to absorb the energy of her freedom of expression because that's what we're supposed to do. So art is daring. It's not just an adventure, it's an action of exposing the most intimate parts of who we are. That's, you can't create anything. I mean, I've seen artists try and create, um, reproducing a picture or, you know, and now digital art, which we won't even get into. <laughs> um, so at some point in this whole exploration, <clears throat> I cannot even remember who said alcohol ink. I can't even, and I can tell you it was not Joe Biden's son. I knew about it oh. way before he did. <laughs> um, <laughs> but somebody, somewhere, somehow, again, serendipitous, I was drawn to alcohol ink. 